Alright guys, so I'm back with another tutorial on creating marketing materials using Canva. So today I'm going to show you how to make Instagram highlights. So the first thing you want to do is go to www.canva.com, create a profile, and then enter into the site. So right over here you will see where it says create a design. Go over to your right where it says custom dimensions and type in 1080 by 1920 pixels PX and press create new design you will then have this page when you're creating your highlights you can use these templates to help you as far as um, just a little help or a guide or you can just create yours customized. So my client colors is black and gold. So I'm going to click on the template, the blank template. Go over to photos and type in black and gold. So this is what we already use for our hang tag. So I'm going to go ahead and use this exact same background. But if you were looking for something different, all you have to do is just pick whichever one you want based on your brand colors so I'm going to go ahead and press this black and gold photo and if you hear anything in the background those are my children playing so forgive me so I'm just sizing my photo up to the template now the next thing I want to do is go to elements and then I want to go down to shapes and go see all. I'm going to pick two circles. So this is the first circle. I'm going to make that black. And then we're going to go back to elements, go to shapes, and then we're going to click this outline of a circle. And we're going to make that gold. So as you can see, when I changed the color at the top, it instantly gave me a color palette based on the picture that I have. So I'm going to choose this gold. And I'm going to arrange it where it's right in the middle. And my circle size, um, this black circle, the size of it is um, 550. And the same thing for the outline. And you just make sure it's placed right in the middle. And the way you would know that it's right in the middle is when you see those two purple cross um, together. That's how you know it's lined up. So now what I'm going to do is just go to copy page based on how many pages I want for my highlights. So my highlights, I want frequently asked questions, service, uh, reviews, and um, client cam. So that's four pages. So I'm going to copy this four times. So now I have four pages, and I'm going to go back up to the top, to the first page, and I'm going to go over to Elements, and I'm going to type in Questions. So you can pick whichever icon you want. I'm going to go ahead and go with the first one, and it's going to pop up black. So you go over to the top where the black color is. You click that and you change it to whichever color that you want. So I'm going to go with my brand colors from the photo. I'm going to pick this gold. Okay, so now you're going to repeat the same steps for each page. So for the second page, I'm going to do service. And I love, I instantly love this one. See, I already kind of know where my pictures are at because I've done this plenty of times. So you can just scroll down. So you can just scroll down the page and um, pick whichever one you want. So I'm going to go ahead and pick this one. I am going to change the color to go. Go down to my third page and we're going to pick type in reviews. Oh, let's add an S reviews. And I love, I love the five star, like it does something to me. I don't know, like it just, you think of ratings and everything. So I picked the five star, change the color, bam, there we go. And then we're going to do the same thing for the last one, which is the client cam. And I'm going to do type in camera. 
Uh oh, first of all, let me spell right. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna pick. Um, I could just pick this one. They have a lot to choose from, so you can pick whichever one you want. Um, I actually like this one with a heart. Okay, so let me tell you. Let's go. Can we change it? Yes, we changed it. So we changed the color. I'm actually going to size it a little bit bigger. So when it comes to the icons, I usually pick my sizes between 535 and 545. And I just place it in the middle. And I can go back. These sizes look perfect. Let's see what this size is. Yeah, that's too big. So I'm going to make that 355. Put that right in the middle. And the question, I'm just gonna go ahead and size that down, 355. And that is it. That's literally it. So let's take a look at them. So we have our frequently asked questions, our service, our reviews, and our client cam. So uh, remember, when you're creating yours, create yours based on your brand colors. Um, choose the background, and when you upload them from um, from Instagram, it'll just be very cohesive, and your highlight story will look beautiful. So next thing I'm going to do is just go up here to the top, and I'm just going to name them um, highlights. And I'm going to go right here, press this arrow down, and I'm going to go ahead and download. The file type, make sure it's always PNG because when they give you a suggested a suggested file to download, listen to them. Download that. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and download. And that is it. So if you have any other questions, if you need any additional help, please let me know. Um, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. So I know you guys, um, give me some feedback so I know that you guys are doing it right. And if you guys need any more assistance, let me know. Um, make sure you subscribe because I will be uploading more videos on how you can create marketing materials using Canva. So one more quick thing, if this pops up on your screen, um, once you download them all of them together, all you have to do is press this button where it says extract all and then press extract again and then it's going to save all four of them at the same time and then just exit out and you're all done all right so i'll see you guys next time bye